Have you ever wanted to create stunning animated infographics in PowerPoint, but didn't know where to start? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this beginner-friendly tutorial, I'll take you through the entire process step by step. From designing a captivating infographic to bringing it to life with animations, you'll learn it all. By the end, you'll have a professional-looking animated infographic ready to impress. So, let's dive in and start creating. Right-click anywhere on the slide and select Format Background. Now, go to Color, then click More Colors, and switch to the Custom tab. Set the RGB values to Red 35, Green 25, and Blue 45. This will give us a sleek, dark tone as our base. Go to the View tab and enable guides to help with precise alignment. Next, navigate to Shapes, select the circle, and set both its height and width to 10.7 cm. To ensure perfect positioning, go to Align and choose Align Center followed by Align Middle. This will place the shape exactly in the center of the slide, creating a balanced design. Go to the Shapes menu again and select the rectangle shape. Draw the rectangle and position it over the quarter circle. Set its height and width to 8 cm, then adjust the corner curve as demonstrated in the video. Next, duplicate the rectangle and place it on the other side. To quickly duplicate, hold Shift plus Control and drag the shape. Duplicate it again and position it over the circle on all four slides. Now, go to the Shapes menu, select Circle, and draw a small one. Position it perfectly between the two rectangle shapes, just as shown in the video. Next, duplicate the circle and place each one between the other rectangle shapes. Follow along with the video to ensure precise placement. Now turn off the guides to keep the workspace clean. Simply go to the View tab and uncheck Guides. Now, select all the shapes, then go to the Shape Format tab. Click on the Merge Shapes option and choose Fragment. Next, delete all unwanted shapes as shown in the video. Now, you have four custom segment shapes, perfectly refined and ready for the next step. Now, let's bring the design to life with color and effects. Start by applying a gradient fill to the shape. I have a pre-made color palette, but feel free to choose colors that match your style. Select the gradient filled shape, then use the Format Painter to apply the same effect to the first segment shape. Next, open the Format Shape panel. Set the gradient type to linear and adjust the angle to 40 degrees. For the gradient stops, set the position values to 100%, 70%, 44%, and 18%. Now, let's format the outline. Go to the Line Options, select Gradient, and reduce it to only two stops by deleting the extras. Adjust the angle to 40 degrees, then set the two colors to white and gray. Finally, modify the transparency, set the first stop to 23% and the second stop to 30%. That's it! Now, repeat these steps for the other segment shapes, adjusting the gradient colors and angles to your preference. Now, let's add a circular design element for a more polished look. Go to the Shapes menu, select a circle, and draw it. Set its height and width to 2.6 cm. Open Shape Fill, choose Eyedropper, and select the slide background color. Position the circle over the first segment shape. Then, go to Shape Outline and select No Outline. To create a layered effect, 
Duplicate the circle by holding Shift plus Control and dragging it. Resize this new circle to 1.9 cm in height and width. Open the Format Shape panel. Go to Solid Line. Set the color to white, change the width to 1. And set the transparency to 70%. Next, apply a shadow effect. Go to the Effects tab, select Shadow Presets, and choose Outer Offset Bottom Right. Set the color to black. Transparency to 65%. Size to 110%. Blur to 25, Angle to 45 degrees, and Distance to 20. Select both circles, go to Align, then choose Align Center and Align Middle to ensure perfect positioning. Select both circles and group them together. Now, place the grouped circles at the center of the segment shape. Duplicate the grouped circle and position it on the remaining segment shapes. To speed up the process, I've used text from a previous design but feel free to customize it with your own content to match your style. To make animation easier, first group each segment shape. Then, group the circle and text together. This will help keep everything organized and ensure smooth animations. Now, let's add animations to bring the design to life. Select the grouped segment shape, go to the Animations tab, and choose Grow and Turn. Open the Animation pane to manage effects. Select the circle group, apply the fly in animation. Go to Effect Options and change the direction to from top left. Change the start from on click to after previous and set the duration to 1 second. Right click the animation, go to effect options, and set the bounce effect to 0.55 seconds. Apply the same effect to other circles. Use Animation Painter to copy the effect to the second circle. Change the animation direction to from top right. Change the start from after previous to with previous and set the delay to 010. Repeat these steps for the other circles, adjusting the animation direction and delay as shown in the video. This will create a smooth and engaging animation effect. Now, let's animate the lines and text for a smooth and engaging effect. Select the first line, apply the wipe animation. Change the direction to from right. Set the start from on click to after previous. Select the circle group, use animation painter, and apply the animation to the heading title. Change the direction to from left. Set the start from after previous to with previous and adjust the delay to 0.25. Use Animation Painter again to apply the same effect to the description text. Set the delay to 0.50. Repeat for other elements. 
follow the same steps for the remaining lines, headings, and descriptions, adjusting the animation direction and delay as I shown in the video. This will create a well-timed and visually appealing animation flow. And that's it, you've just learned how to create and animate a stunning infographic from start to finish in PowerPoint. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the process step by step. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more PowerPoint tutorials, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.